This has to be relegation form. Oh, it's gone in! It's 3-1! And it's a hat-trick for Tyrell Wanyi! And it's a victory! Finally, we won a game! Hey, 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 it's JK22 here, guys, and welcome back to yet another installment in the Nottingham Forest FIFA 22 career mode series. As you guys probably remember, we're having a bit of a mare at the moment. Six losses on the bounce in the Prem, but it's okay because we're looking to put it right, right here, right now, against Leicester City at home we're gonna sim this match one change for this match is that alonso comes in at left back <sighs> i just oh is the losing streak gonna end it's not it's seven losses in a row this has to be relegation form we are making so much trouble for ourselves. two oc men goals just finish us off Come on then guys, let's give it another go. Another huge opposition, Manchester United. The big games have definitely been front-loaded this season. Two changes from last time out. Uh, Brandon Williams returns at left back and Morgan Gibbs-White replaces Mariba in midfield. And of course, big game for Brandon Williams against the club where it all started for him, so hopefully he can put in a shift. Rogers, fancies a cross in. Rafa Varane was there. With Charleston, sign for United. That is interesting. Oh, Dewsbury Hall in. Oh, Rogers could be in. Shift it to his right, and he puts it wide. Honestly. Who is the finishing coach at Nottingham Forest? Because we're spurning chances like no one's business. Okay, Spence out wide. Plenty of Forest players in the box. Oh, that felt really nicely for Talbot. But it's all right. Dewsbury Hall unleashes it with his weak foot. David De Gea has to make a save. Second chance of the game. Pretty decent shot. For his weaker foot. Would expect De Gea to be saving that though. You know what? I think we should have a left footer on this corner. I always prefer an in-swinger. Dewsbury Hall. In towards Morgan Rogers, Who gets a fiery header on that. But straight at the goalie. Come on guys. I would give anything for a win in this game. Anything. I'd give my right arm. Please. Oh no, Richarlison. Oh, this is actually bad. Oh, this is, oh, Williams gets ahead on it. Oh, Jewsbury Hall is a bit slow, but what is that pass? Oh man, you guys saw how much space Torbert was in there. How can that pass be justified? Oh, that was quite lucky as well, to be honest. Oh, one ye. Oh, he's in. He has got to score it. Finally, we go in front in a game. Ridiculous. Oh, you guys don't realise how relieved I am. We actually can score goals. Again. Taiwo Awoniyi puts us on the score sheet here at Old Trafford. The, the stadium isn't happy. They thought this was going to be a rollover. For relegation for Nottingham Forest. But uh, hopefully we're going to prove them otherwise. Rashford. Oh! When have you ever seen Rashford score a goal like that? Second absolute worldie we've conceded. In the last couple episodes. I mean there's literally nothing I can do. I've done all I can. I've kept the defenders behind him. He just absolutely mullers that one. With his weaker foot as well, into the top corner. Morgan Gibbs White working some room here. Oh, oh, oh! 
De Gea gets a fingertip save on the embers of half time. Good play by Gibbs White. Oh, he gets a second bite at the cherry. Not great placement of the ball, but we'll take it. Come on. Come on, Talbot. Good corner. Oh, a one he's in. Oh, the header is misdirected, though. Now Sancho finds the outrageous goal scorer, Rashford, and Saliba does a good job, to be fair. Now, come on. Centre back forward. Into Gibbs White. Oh, he's holding on to it, you know. Oh, get there, a one ye. Oh, ball just an incy bit. Too heavy. Oh, one ye could be in. Could be in. Score. Score. Oh, it's gone in. Oh, what a finish from Taiwo. A one ye. Ridiculous scenes here at Old Trafford. We're in front once again. I'm not sure how long we'll hold it for, but at least we have a chance. What a finish. Really good run, like good awareness from a one year to just get into that li little pocket of space, turn, get around Lindelof, then that finish. It's quite simply exquisite. Quite simply curling away. Right into the side netting. De Gea, not a chance. That's 2-1. Oh, Sancho's in. He's not got support, but he's in. Oh, he's doing his skillage stuff. Oh, 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 what is happening? Oh, I'm hyperventilating. Oh, seriously. Oh, run, run. Someone run. Oh, I'm so slow. I'm so slow. I've just wasted a really good counter-attack opportunity. Oh, we've still got it. Still got it. Okay, let's go. Oh, ball through. Nice. Rogers, show us your pace, son. Oh, 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 come inside. And make it three. Oh, so close. Alexandro nearly deflects it into his own net. Really dynamic play there from Morgan Rogers. That's close. That is close. So close. Is this the time to make changes, though? I'm quite enjoying it so far. We can't take a one year off in the form that he's in. The only thing I might say, maybe we could bring Delap on into uh, right winger. We can play Talbot in midfield. Remember, he can play Cam. That's nice. I like the look of that. What else could be done? Maybe Alonso in for Brandon Williams just to shore up the defence a little bit or even for Jed Spence we could put Williams, nah Williams is a bit tired duh and oh, those are the two changes we're going to go for corner it's a corner, I need to change these oh actually Alonso has good corner taking stats, oh inviting oh ok not quite a one year, is he going to get there? Oh, he will, on the second go. And he'll fight his way into the box. Shoot. Oh, it's gone in. It's 3-1. And it's a hat-trick for Taiwo a one year. You absolute legend. What a guy. What a badger. Three goals against United. It looks like it's won us the game as well. And look at this strength. What a goal. He holds off Kessie, who is really putting his foot in. He wants that ball, but he still unleashes the shots. It's curling into the back of the net. Come on. That's looking like our first win in seven matches. Like, seriously. Oof, unless something crazy happens. Uh oh. Here come United. Oh. Come on, Pickford! What a save! Oh my. Very close. But we get on it. Okay. I think we've basically done it, guys. Let's just hold on to it for as long as we can. And then Muller it up the pitch. That's got to be it. Surely, ref. Come on, my man. Blow that whistle. And it's a victory! Finally, we've won a game. 
And it wasn't an easy game either, against United. But what a man, a one e takes the match ball home, and deservedly so. What a player. Oh, mate, he's been disgustingly, outrageously awesome today. Great win and congratulations. Did Awonye's hat trick surprise you? It did a bit, to be fair. I've seen him score a goal here and there, but I've never seen him put it in the back of the net three times. Did not see it coming, but it was a breathtaking display, to say the least. And that's just so much what we needed. Just to prove that we can actually win games against decent clubs. We just need a bit of confidence, that's all it is. And just before our next one, which is against Wolverhampton Wanderers, we've had a couple of player messages. First one from Alan Varela. I accept I'm not the first name on the team sheet, boss, but I should be getting more games. I'll bear that in mind. Morgan Rogers feels like he's been playing well, and he doesn't just want to be on the bench for their game against Wolves. So, he did play very well, actually, against United. Created at least a couple chances for Awonyi. So, I don't see the harm in starting him in this game. And perhaps... What could be interesting is if we start Johnson on the right hand side, we'll play Talbot in midfield, we will then bring on Morgan Rogers out wide, that should, that team has goals in it for sure, and Alonso will start for Brandon Williams, it is another home game, we should be getting the win, surely it's going to happen. And yes, finally we win a sim match. Two on the bounce now. 4-1. Who scored? A one yig bags another. Rogers gets on the sheets. Marcus Alonso and young Talbot. Sebastian Talbot. What a man. What a team. Come on. That should take us out the relegation zone. And just to top it all off. Sebastian Talbot, assist leader. Actually, guys, I'm sure you've noticed this, because I'm sure you're all very keen-eyed people, but uh, why does his numbering on his back still have the championship style? Next up, we have Crystal Palace away. I do think, guys, this is another match that we could simulate just to get through these games. As you can see, we've had a few changes to our team, especially in midfield. Varela, who has been messaging me he wants more game time, does get a start today alongside Gibbs White, who will be backed up by Ryan Yates at CDM. Let's see what happens. Oh, it's a 3-1 victory. Get in there. Yates, Talbot and Johnson on the score sheet. So up to 15th now. Good momentum is behind us going into this home match against AFC Bournemouth. And likewise, guys, I think this has to be a simulated match. And just to keep some rotations going, we will bring Marcus Alonso in at left back. We will start Varela for this one. We may also bring Rogers in or not. Actually, I think we will leave the front three as they are. This surely could be a win. Oh, we're back to our old ways. Losing games that we really should be winning. Seriously. Bournemouth, mate. That's, that's tragic. And guys, okay. I think probably the last game in this episode is going to be against Arsenal. Away at the Emirates Stadium. Arsenal, obviously they have... European competition at the moment. I think, I don't know if they got top four last season, cannot remember, but they got a lot of tired players, which gives us a real opportunity to exploit that. And for this game, we are going to bring Morgan Rogers in for a game because I just really enjoy playing with him. Then we'll have Talbot and Awaniyi up top. Mariba can start in midfield. Actually, I think Gibbs White will start in midfield and our back four will remain as usual. So let's get into this one. Let's go to North London. <sighs> Come on, another three points coming. And guys, of course, how could I forget one of the subplots of this game is William Saliba back 
to his old club to face them for the first time. I'm sure he'll get a warm reception from the Gunners faithful. But he wants to prove a point today. He wants to show them that they should have never let him go. So let's see how he goes. And let's see how we go. We slayed one giant just now against Manchester United. So come on, let's go for the second. Oh, lovely ball through to Awonyi. Oh, he's going to fancy a shot, you know. Chances of beating Leno from that angle were pretty low. But he did well to get it on target. He's a man with so much confidence after that hat trick. Oh, we get it through to a one -year. He's got a score. It's with his weaker foot. But he finishes it off with absolute aplomb. What a man. It's fifth goal in what? One, two, three, four games. Fifth goal in four games for our number nine. He is truly becoming a Nottingham Forest icon. Really good piercing run down the middle. The, the only question was, could he finish with his weak foot? He absolutely can. Leno left despairing without a sniff of that one into the bottom corner. Here we go. 1-0 to the Forest. Come on, you Reds. Martin Erdegaard. I believe the Arsenal captain. Oh! Maitland Niles spurns a golden opportunity, I must say. You've got to get that on target, my friend. Struggling to keep hold of these players. They're definitely skilled, I can tell you that much. Erdegaard takes it wide, finds Inketia. Oh, Arsenal. They just keep passing. They just keep passing. Oh, my days, and they score. Whew, Eddie Nketiah finishes it off into an open net. And Arsenal, well played. They just kept passing it until I lost all will to defend anymore. I just took the goalkeeper out of position. I was like, close him down. Thought he was going to shoot, but Xhaka, he had the presence of mind to lay it off. And it was an easy goal in the end. One all. All to play for. Oh, off the line. Saliba, so close to scoring against his old club. Morgan Gibbs White, though. Oh, it's bouncing everywhere. Except into the back of the Arsenal net. So unlucky on our side. But we come again. Oh, one he's in. You know what he does? Oh, not quite on this occasion, however. Ooh, that man, he's so dangerous at the moment. I thought he was going to go across the keeper. Probably didn't quite have the angle to make it work. And it's probably a good time to make our changes now. I think we're going to play Talbot in midfield. And then we're going to bring Johnson onto the right-hand side. Who else could possibly come onto the pitch? Maybe Marcus Alonso could make a difference. He has that quality in his cross, so maybe could find a searching ball for that man, a one year in the box. Oh, okay, Spence will just keep going and he'll score. Easy as you like. I think that's probably the first goal I've ever scored with him. He just like, yeah, if you're gonna back off me, I'll just have a little tango into the penalty area and finish it. Really good. Look at this. They just didn't close him down. Didn't close him down. Look at all that space. Yowza badowza. Three minutes left on the clock. Can we hold on? Erdegaard. Oh, Cruyff turn. I thought Pickford had just parried it into his own net. But that is not the case. He managed to get it round the corner and save our blushes. We've got to be nearly at the 90 mark, 88 and a half. So close to another historic three points. We've just got to get that ball away. It's not a corner again, it's another corner. Oh my word, more pressure to be applied. Here come the Arsenal. They're going to pass it, aren't they? Of course they are. Oh, here we go, Smith Rowe, who I think has just come onto the pitch. Oh, we can counter now. Come on, actually, don't worry about it too much. Just get forward. That's all you got to do. Just get forwards. If you score, it's a bonus. 
Oh, there's that man. Oh, one ye makes it 3-1. What a goal. Two for the game. What's that? Six in his last four. This man's too good. Too good for this league. He needs like an ultimate league to play in because he's awesome. Ooh, 3-1. Three, three more points. That's what counts. I wonder what that's going to do for our tabler position. I don't know. We'll see just now. But yeah, I think this game's pretty much tied up in the bag. So yeah. And with that, we move up to 13th Posizione in the table. You love to see it, don't you? And we're actually not far off Chelsea. They're having a bit of a bad start to the season. United as well. Jeez Louise, we're only actually seven points off the Champions League spot. So by no means is it a disaster at this point. That Europa League spot is still there for us to take. But to finish off this episode, we're going to sim this match against Brentford. We will... Are we going to make many changes? No, we're just going to go in with our default team. Come on, another win. Yes, 2-0, clean sheet, two Dewsbury Hall goals. That's another three in the bag. And we're going to finish the episode in 10th place where we finished last season. And that's going to wrap it up nicely, guys. Thank you so much for watching. As always, like usual, if you're new around these parts, subscribe to the channel hit that notification bell and guys i know i keep saying it but fifa 23 is so close now so you want to be subscribed so you can see when the brand new career mode drops and we're gonna have an absolute worldie coming your way so keep tuned and anyway guys also like the video if you can and until i see you again in the very next one it's been a pleasure fifaing with you once again today